All right, decided I'd try something a little different and record some Total War Rome 2 gameplay. I play this game a ton, but haven't put it on the channel, of course. I don't know, I just figured I'm playing it anyway, why not record it? And if someone likes watching it, they can enjoy it. So what we're going to do today is a grand campaign. Now I've got the Divided Impera mod, which overhauls pretty much the entire game. And we're going to play as the Odrissian Kingdom. I want to be these guys because I've never played a, one of the one of these factions over here just above Greece. And I thought it would be interesting to give it a try. Now we get a bit of a public order bonus from our culture. Building conversion costs are less. So I'll have to see if I can remember maybe it's not always as good of an idea to just raise a place and then rebuild it. I tend to do that a lot, just dismantle all the buildings and start from scratch. Maybe I'll do uh, some actual conversion. Now we do have reduced party loyalty, which could cause us some pretty severe problems, but if we manage things carefully it shouldn't be a big deal. Playing on normal difficulty because I'm not actually that great at the game, so I don't want to make it too hard for myself. I still want to have fun playing it. I've turned off the battle time limit because I like to take sieges really slow. And yeah, that's, that's enough for that. We're going to go ahead and get started. This campaign before, a few months ago, before I had really played on this get very far, gave up on the campaign. So we're going at it with a bit of a fresh start. And the varied peoples of not that great at the game. Under your banner, and they look to you for leadership in an uncertain world. So don't expect anything the crazy good. Of the Macedonians to the southeast threatens war. Should it come, your people must be prepared. So you must ready your forces. Whatever. These missions I'm kind of just going to ignore, except when they line up with what I already want to do. Because my goal is world domination. Just because that's what happens to sound fun to me. Alright. So step one, the first thing I always look at at a new campaign is diplomacy. I check who likes me, who doesn't, who's at war with who. Now with these factions that have the same blood, I can confederate them. I don't know how well confederation works on this mod. I know it can be a bit of a pain in vanilla Rome too. So we'll see. We might we might try and confederate some of these guys down the road. Hmm. So these guys don't like us. They said, <clears throat> that starting thing said these guys are at war with Macedon. That ha that's not the case. So I don't know if they're going to declare war on the first turn or really what's going to happen there. We'll keep an eye on that. Basically, I want to have a one front war. I never want to have multiple fronts because at the beginning it'll be really hard for me to control my finances enough to manage that. Okay, start with a good amount of money, not fantastic income. Let's go ahead and just go for money first. Let's see here. So that is a huge amount of money for one building. Why don't we go that direction? Now, what I want to do right off the bat, I'm not going to declare war on them immediately. But what I want to do right off the bat is take this city. Because I'm thinking these guys are probably a little weak. 
I mean, their army's the same size as mine. So basically, I want to recruit some troops and then hire some mercenaries, I guess, and just get right in on it. So I think that'll be a good enough plan for now. For tech, which one is it? So I actually start out with some of the construction done. I think first I'm going to get dignitaries because I can hire, let's see, where is it? I can hire two governors and they'll really help out with public order. A public order right off the bat. I want to get that high as possible so that we can get bonuses from the population. You can get like increased tax rate and growth and all of that. And I think we'll call that good for the first turn. This city's probably my next target. I want a walled city. I might even move my capital to there. We'll see. your homes a wasteland, despoil your women, enslave your children, and Shit. desecrate your ancestors' graves. Okay, not how I would have liked things to go. Their city just upgraded too. Means their garrison will be tougher. Forgot to move my spy, that's unfortunate. So they've only got four, they're recruiting one. Their garrison is 12. Let's maybe move him down towards Macedon. Hmm. Do I turn around and try and rush them down? Because it'll take me two turns to get there. That gives me one turn to recruit some more troops, and then I'll pick up some mercenaries. Or do I take these guys out and then focus on... You know what? Let's go for them first. think I'm going to hire all of these mercenaries right now just because that will prevent them from coming out and hiring them so it's expensive it's gonna murder my income but I think it's worth it then we'll hit them next turn Ooh, that really hurts the income Loyalty looks fine. We need to get this dude married because he's our king. We need to establish a bloodline, so let's make that happen. We'll save any other money we've got, which is basically none. And pretty much if we don't take that city this turn, we might be in major trouble. Perfectly fine. We've got some troops recruited. So they have 12. I mean, it's a garrison, and you can see it's pretty much garbage. They've only got five here. So we shouldn't be able... Oh, you know what? We actually can recruit three more. 
We cannot afford three more. Let's see which one's going to give us the best. Let's go for these guys, I think. And that kind of hurts, but I think we're just going to auto resolve it. Interestingly enough, a protective stance actually saves us some troops. That's fine. Everyone else got beat to hell, but it doesn't really matter. Now, since we're ridiculously short on money, I feel like we have to loot it. Get rid of the mercenaries. Because they are super expensive. Uh, we might hang on to one of these. Why don't we just do that? Okay, so we've got some money in the treasury now. We're going to have some serious public order issues. Okay, what if I just want to dismantle it? I can't. All right, whatever, let's repair it. Dismantle that. You know what? That helps with growth, so let's get that, because we want this. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit a couple more people, I guess. Now, public order absolutely destroyed. So let's see if we can... See, I still want to take these guys out. Just hope they don't declare war on me and go attack my capital, because that would be well, disastrous. Satan, let your words move. I, thank I wonder you if we can get that with we a little bit of money. For weaklings. Yes. Because these guys, I don't you really want welcome. to attack that. I'm thinking Although I want to take over Greece first. Expect talk with purpose and honesty. Can I get non-aggression for a little bit of money here? Yes, I can. Okay, that's yes. a good start. The words show wisdom beyond your years. I knew your people to be honorable. I don't love that these guys aren't quite happy with me, but whatever. Now, I would like to get up to here. So let's see if we can boost our influence a bit. We've got high enough loyalty out of all of these guys. Yeah, it costs some money, but we also need to help out our public order. So that's going to mitigate the public order problems a little bit. You know what, if we pull him out of the city, that helps too. I'll just recruit three because we do need to go and take this city. Um, is a problem. Me forgetting to move my spy is a minor problem. Food is not a problem yet, but it will be. Let's 
maybe go with that for now. Okay, so they're recruiting. Let's boost our food a little bit, get that guy some experience. Yeah, let's start heading this way to get ready to take these guys on. Five, eight, so they're only recruiting two this turn. We already outnumber them. I think we're going to have a hard time fighting them unless we meet them out in the field. Let's just get some cheap stuff. Really don't want to pay a lot of money for it. We can recruit more now as well. Okay, we're hurting for cash. Still can't trade with these guys, unfortunately. I guess we can't get a trade route across that river. agree to trade we have much your people might enjoy and your goods would enrich our markets I was not expecting someone to request trade with me but I suppose with Bithynia it makes sense let's see we can go ahead and accept that Probably not going to give us much, especially in the beginning, but, you know, an extra hundred bucks a turn or whatever it might end up being is going to help. And we've just completed our research. So that should mean we can hire an agent, right? Public order, that's very good. Recruitment cost down, that could be helpful right now. Let's start with this guy. I don't want to use all of our cash because we still need to recruit some. Let's see. It's got a couple of missiles too. I don't want to hire too many of these guys because we only have 2,500 warriors. So let's just go for numbers. Now that that research is done and we've got our dignitaries available, let's get some champions coming in. Interesting, now that we're recruiting, we're getting a little bit of replenishment, too. Still looking fine on food. Politics. These guys could use some loyalty. I want to save the money for now. That's not bad. Well met. What do you wish? The road goes ever 
Now one danger here is I kind of want to declare war on I don't think I can take this as a head-on fight right now. Do I get aggressive? Because I want this army to come out and meet me in the field. The danger is if they hire a bunch of mercenaries, they should beat me pretty handily. Get moving. Let's maybe see if we can bait them out with some raiding. What you can. Boost our income a bit too. Okay, minus five public order. I don't think we can. Oh, we actually could do this again. Loyalty is looking all right, but let's go ahead and have this guy do it instead of our person. How much are we making out of this trade? Eh, 88, not a ton. So that's these guys. Okay, everyone over here. Okay, those two are at war. See, I really don't want the Illyrians to take this city. So I don't like that they're at war. But I don't really want to go to war with these guys because they're buddy-buddy with Macedon. Good and noble friend. What an honor. Yes. Let's see if we can make really good friends with these guys. There's food enough for them. Yes. That is very good. I don't even want to confederate them. I just want them to stay there and do their own thing for now. So we'll call that on the turn. Right now, what I'm kind of thinking is confederate these guys in order to take those two cities. And then we can do conquest to take these two, hopefully. And that'll get us a secure province and get us some food production. Income has been boosted a bit now since we got that building finished. Yeah, he's gonna recruit all the way up. Let's drop back a touch and get some replenishment. And I might need to recruit another, another army here. I mean, we don't want just a complete trash mob. That's what we're going to end up with, but... Let's see, doing that makes it so we can't get this guy. They have the same income penalty. Do I want the wealth from farming, or do I want the unit replenishment? I haven't got the money for unit replenishment. Let's go ahead and hang on to our cash. Since they're at war with Pergamon, I don't want to get involved there. I need to take these guys out decisively. I'm concerned because there's no way I can take on 
I don't think there's any way I can take that garrison and a full stack at the same time. Just don't think it's realistic for me to do that. I wonder if I had declared war on them if they would have charged out and attacked me. So they recruited another general. That means that's a really high quality unit, probably. Potentially cavalry, too. This gives us the most money outright. That gives us a lot of public order. I think for now we gotta take the money. Oh, excuse me. Do you know what? Let's match them. I don't love the idea of having one of these guys be my general, but I can always swap them out once we get another person in our party. So, the dude from the Moesi Nobles will recruit him. Interesting that these two cost money. I was going to get hoplites, I think, because I like the survivability of them. But whatever, we'll go with this guy. Again, that's going to hurt our income a bit, but what can you do? Go ahead and declare you are war welcome. here. Although my ancestors and people expect to see if we can draw them into here. If they severely outmatch us, we can always fall back. Hopefully, we fall back far enough to either get the garrison reinforcements or get out of range. That is even better. Because that wipes out an entire army. Why does that kill them so easily? Is it because they... Interesting. That's actually both of their armies. Now, normally, I would probably... Okay, good, he survived. Normally, I would probably just release them and take the money. But since I have the trained slaves resource, let's go ahead and enslave them.
I'm surprised the AI took that fight since it was so heavily in our favor. Now I know we need another governor. I think I would rather get the governor than the... But you know what? Now, what kind of odds does this give us? Not good ones. We do have some mercenaries available, so I could drop off. Do we have the money for them? We, hit, we could afford one. We could afford two of them. So let's ditch two of these guys. Can we get one of them and one of them? Okay. Again, that's going to hurt our income. Let's leave him in our region to get the extra couple of men. Extra couple, I mean, that's quite a few extra. Yeah. Now, if she can get down here, okay, he leveled up. If th this chick can get down here, that'll help out. I think it'll boost our stats for our guys. Now, we, what we want out of our dignitary is public order. We can worry about tax rate later. I don't feel like those mercenaries change the odds more in our favor. Okay, if they attack us, it pushes us back. We take some heavy monetary losses, but then we bring in an additional five units, and hopefully that swings it in our favor. Now I want to go for the growth and the sanitation. Just please don't attack me. Let me siege you. Okay, here we go. Right there. Oh, they want peace. Okay, when I decline this, they're going to attack, right? They have to. choice. If we retreat, is it going to take us far enough away from the garrison? Because the garrison is mainly what's dangerous, I think. This actual army I'm not so worried about because it's basically the same as mine. Go ahead and retreat. That was less than ideal. Retreat, my warriors! Retreat! You didn't go far enough, dude. That sucks. All right, well, that's a lost cause. These guys are dead. Super unfortunate. Damn, I was hoping they wouldn't be able to move that far. The retreating distance is really kind of stupid in this game. That's going to hurt our loyalty with that other faction, too. Yeah, that's going to hurt our... hurt our economy pretty bad. Oh, and we get a disease right now, of all things. Okay, that's gonna... I bet they run away. Yeah. Um, can we get in range? We cannot get in range of our garrison. 
bloody disease. That's such horrid timing. And we're down on food, too. Why are we suddenly missing food? Because these guys are taking food from us. Shit. Well, I think we might just have to eat shit for a turn. Hopefully this will help a little. Seeing the loyalty on these guys. That's not right. They don't care that their general died? It says he won a battle, what the heck? Your general died, he didn't win. Whatever. Okay, so we are in the... Now, if these guys hire a bunch of mercenaries and take out my city, I'm probably screwed and we'll have to restart the campaign. So I hope that doesn't happen. I hope this dude quits raiding and leaves, and I hope these guys just piss off, I guess. I Can't afford to pay you money for that. Good, okay. This should kill both of their armies. Why is the garrison so strong? Are these guys really that bad? That seems weird to me. Well, we basically just wiped out all of their troops. So this is not gone, ideally, but it is not unsalvageable. We're lucky the garrison is as strong as it is. Not even going to bother with him. I'm going to go see if I can take this out right now. time he levels up, jeez. Um, so I'm actually hoping to not be in too much more combat with this guy. Because I've got one more city I want to take. Well, obviously this one and then this other city over here. And then hopefully I won't have to fight for a while. I can just build up and get some economy going. So let's do those two. And he's pretty healthy, so we should be alright there. Okay, these guys we're probably just going to get rid of entirely. These guys we can merge a bit. How did they perform? These guys actually did okay. Okay, now public order. Pretty bad, but we really need money. That might actually cause a rebellion, which would be pretty problematic. Yep, that's caused a rebellion. Okay, let's hang on to the mercenaries for a minute. Dismantle everything here. I know I said I wanted to convert stuff, but for now, let's just dismantle it all. Okay, so minus 60, so we have to make up for quite a bit of public order problems. That helps with 10 of it. Now, if we can make up 3, we 
should be fine. So let's try and boost our own influence and stop a rebellion. Jeez, that still puts us to 93. Okay, well, we need to get some public order going really fast here. Can't afford that. Don't have enough food. That's dismantling. We can't just convert it. Yeah, let's go ahead and dismantle it. Doesn't one of these give us... Oh, it's this one that gives us food. I would like to get that, but for now it's not terribly important. Let's just go for the money. Alright, let's see what's happening with these guys. Still at war. Greetings, friend. I've called for good ALT. Welcome. We will talk and... Any chance you'll trade with me? I am honored to receive this embassy and will listen with it. Wish you guys would stop fighting Pergamon. Hellenic factions are pretty tough early on. Okay, we wanted to go for selling them rather than training them. Want the attack range and... Defense for spears or offense. Yeah, whatever, we'll go with that one for now instead. Now about the only chance this guy has is if he hires a ton of mercenaries and it's enough to take out my garrison. I'm really hoping it's not going to happen. Well, he hired a bunch of mercenaries, but it's not going to be enough. This is hurting our population pretty bad, though. Okay, we killed his general. Still didn't destroy the faction, though. Okay, I think our disease should be over this turn. So our troops can start replenishing again. Whatever. Not getting any cavalry anytime soon, anyway. Alright, let's go take these guys down. They should just retreat, but whatever. On the move, lads. Get moving. Let's get some food going here. You know what, I like these because you can get a ton of money, but I think we just need to focus on the food for now. Interesting, these guys appear to be losing quite badly. So we need to get over here quick, because these guys will come take out this city. Let's go ahead and recruit some, then. That'll help boost our replenishment, too. 
300 bucks to pay for 53 men. I don't think I'm going to keep that. Well, yeah, we'll keep it for now. Let's hire our other governor as well. Growth, replenishment, public order. I'm honestly kind of hoping my buddies up here are losing their war, because then maybe I can confederate them. If they don't feel threatened, they're not going to accept confederation. And since I need that land eventually... Wow, these guys are beat to hell. It's okay, we took zero losses, right? Zero losses? is good. I'll just go ahead and enslave them. I don't think that'll hurt public order much more. Now, is the garrison here healthy enough that it could repel a potential mercenary invasion? I don't think so, so unfortunately we need to chase this guy instead of running over here. Shit. Okay, we need these guys to hold out for another four turns or so. Run away, please still be in range, thank you. All right, so that's these guys dealt with. Your next command? That makes us look a little more powerful. Hmm. Maybe ditch these guys for a unit of spears too. Hopefully that'll help our, <clears throat> excuse me, help our replenishment some. I like the movement range. Oof, that's going to be hard to ignore. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to ignore. So that'll get built and boost us by three food. So we should be safe to improve this, and that's not hurting public order. Okay. Let's get you moving that direction. Let's get you recruiting to hopefully get some replenishment. Okay, at least a little bit. Public order is in a very bad spot, but heading the right direction. Still got some loyalty from everybody. Sit, friend, and let us talk. And let us have good wine until we can talk no more. Okay, we'll end the turn there. Just kidding, our spy leveled up and I forgot. Can't even find... Oh yeah, I'm kind of glad that happened because now we get some extra goodies. Don't really 
really care for either of those, but I want the food. I can start getting out of deploying him in enemy territory soon. RDA took the city. Well, we'll see what things look like diplomatically soon. Got that food boost. Let's deal with this. Merchant wishes to trade with us. Okay, you can trade, that's fine. What did they take it with? Was it an actual army? Yep, it was an actual army. Alright, well let's try and get in there and... Well, let's look at the diplomatic repercussions of doing that. Let's get over there before we declare war on them. It's our summer movement, our fall movement should be enough to get us there. Okay. Let's maybe swap out another one of these. You maybe? probably should get rid of them, but we're going to get rid of these guys instead, and just pick up some more cheapo spears. Our income's doing okay. I would like to do these, but we're going to wait until we see what kind of reinforcements they're bringing in. They shouldn't be able to replenish yet, so that should buy us some time at least. Politically, these guys need some loving, so instead of sending him... Well, you know what? What's our public order look like? Still in the positive, but only barely. We'll go ahead and give him some more influence, I think. Yeah. I need to boost my own influence, but... I do not want a secession, even though I have protection from it for another seven turns. I'd rather just keep loyalty high. For me, this game is largely about getting ahead of things instead of playing catch-up to them. Things like loyalty, public order, sanitation, food, all of that, you want to stay ahead of it instead of catching up. You want to get your sanitation up before you start building the buildings that are going to decrease it. Let's see here. So we're getting the growth now. Good. We got 10% wealth, so that's boosted us up over 2,000. Who's trespassing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If we go in right now, we might be able to 
might be able to steal it, but I don't think we can reach. Oh, Macedon liberated them. Okay. That's all right. They have half of a garrison. Okay, so we just need this Macedonian army to leave. Please tell me it didn't make them military allies. Shit. It'd be cool if I could just use the garrison to go out and get them. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now obviously, with my incredible army of terrible spears, I'm not going to be able to take on a proper Hellenic army. No chance. So I really don't want to get involved in a war against Macedon. But I need that land. Hmm, choices, choices. start getting a little bit of a military boost. We don't have a lot of money. But let's spend it on ourselves. Let's invest it into some buildings here. Public order is under control. Is everybody still deployed? My champion level up. This guy's not deployed anymore. What's Macedon got? A lot. Okay. Ah, uh, but you see, if I deploy him, he's going to undeploy on his own next turn. Whatever. All right. Don't have much money to do anything else this turn, so let's leave it. I really hope... Well, we're not at war with them, so they shouldn't just attack me, right? that they liberated them. Looks like they came up to kill RDA and then dipped. Interesting. So they're actually not too much more powerful than me. That kind of surprises me. I'm not at war with anyone right now. I look forward to your wisdom, but I trust you will not object to a cup of wine first. You have I wonder if that would be worth a little bit of extra money to get a defensive alliance, start boosting our relation with them more. Sit, friend, and let us talk, and let us have good wine until we can talk no more. Guess not. I cannot settle up. I don't want to get very involved with them because of their war with Pergamon. Greetings, I really friend. want you guys to you break your military your alliance with and them. It it's not people, going to happen. It doesn't matter what we offer you. Diplomacy doesn't go that far in this game. Any chance these guys will take defensive lines? Maybe. Your people are a byword for honor, 
but I cannot quite accept the terms that you offer. The gods would be displeased if I said yes too easily, although you speak your part. All right, we'll go up to three. Such terms. Your people are worthy, but my people deserve better. No, okay. The gods. That probably means they're losing their war here, which is not a good sign. I mean, it's what we want long term. Oh, who's this guy? Again, we want that focus on public order. I mean, we want long term to be losing. Yeah, see, he just undeployed himself. We want them to lose so that they feel threatened and are willing to confederate, willing to let me take control of them. Need that army to disappear. I might have to start raising a second army already. Do these guys have their other army vanished probably over well actually they might have gone down to deal with Athens and Sparta these guys are just gonna keep recruiting and getting stronger it's gonna make them more and more difficult at this point we have to recruit to match them Do we dare try them again? I guess we'll go ahead and recruit him and see what happens. Keep with our strategy of just trash mobbing. We don't have a ton of freemen to draw from here, though. Our income is going up. I think because that building just finished. And the slave building finished. Okay, so our income's going up. So we can afford this army. You can hear my squeaky chair. Come now, let us debate this matter like. See, I just don't. I don't want to get involved down there because I don't want Pergamon coming up here trying to kill me. Okay, so we should be totally fine on food now. Move you over. Get you recruiting some more. Can we get another? No. Okay, so that's our recruitment limit. Unfortunately, we're also out of freemen here. And we do not have a lot of warriors either. It's interesting that we can't really recruit foreigners at all. Champion leveled up. Let's just go for the increased experience, I suppose. Ready 
Would this be enough to take on? See, I just don't think it would because it's such low quality troops. How far can we go? Is it far enough? No. Damn. Tiny bit further would have done it. And it's spring, so we're not going to have to worry about that next turn. Let's go ahead and just get some more replenishment here. We're not going to recruit the mercenaries yet, because if we retreat, we will definitely, hopefully, get back in range of these guys. So we're just not going to spend the money on the mercenaries. These guys have a full stack, so they're not going to. These guys, same situation. I would love it if you guys would stop being military Greetings. allies. We are civilized folk, so you may speak as you wish, and we will give you an... What if you guys want to stop being Greetings. allies with those guys? Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be... think so. Oh, you... Greetings, friend. They got confederated. Greetings, friend. I've called for good ale to ease your throat and, ha, ah, ripe women to ease other parts. That throws a bit of a wrench in our plans up there, but we'll handle that later. For now, we just need to get to war with these guys, take that city, and then hopefully, hopefully peace with Macedon. It might even be worth bringing that army back, recruiting some more, and then going on the offensive. I might need to start recruiting a third army as well, just so I can have reinforcements available. Yeah, see, they're just gonna keep recruiting. Please don't join. Please don't join. I already know you will, but please don't. Shit. We're actually slated to win already. Doesn't mean we're not picking up mercenaries. I'm going to spend our entire treasury and probably be making 300. That's going to be my guess. Without running any math, because I don't care, I bet we're going to be making 300 gold. Okay, better than what I thought. Hmm. What have they got? I'm trying to decide between auto resolving and fighting the battle. One unit of cavalry to my two and a half, three? Do I have three now? Yes, I have three. My front line will hold against theirs for at least a little. I outnumber them heavily enough that I can win the flanks super easily.
Okay, tell you what, we're gonna end this episode here, and we will have this battle. I'm gonna go ahead and fight it, but this will be the first battle on episode two of this playthrough.